Hello, people, and welcome back to my series of strategies and tips. I am your IELTS PT coach, Jackson Abnis, with Y Axis Solutions Limited. Today, in my video, I am going to share with you some vital insights about PT module. Let's start our journey now. In my today's module, I am going to share with you one of the most important and interesting question item, which is multiple choice question, single answer. You are aware, people, that for the reading module, there are five different question types, as I had shared with you the information in my previous video about the reading module. I had also shared with you the information about two major question items, which are reading fill in the blanks and reading and writing fill in the blanks. Today, as I proceed with the next question item, which is multiple choice single answer, which is also an important question item, but there is some confusions amongst participants, and that is where I thought I will prepare a video that will help you people to understand the question item better. Now, before I move to the question item, just want to let you know that in the PT module, to make things challenging for you, the test developers try to re-change the sequence every time. The sequencing will not be the same always especially when it comes to mcqs these are one of the most favorites for the test developers to put it on the top why because participants get stuck by reading the comprehension again and again to get an answer whereas this question type in the list of maximum weightages of your scoring points in the reading module is the least weighted question item but again participants feel that they need to read each and every part of it and then they consume more time because of which by the time they reach to the most important question item which is reading fill in the blanks and reading and writing fill in the blanks they have less time to spend and that's wherein you have your scorecard in the reversal order. So, first thing first, remember, MCQs in your reading module as well as the listening module are the least weightage question items. I'm not telling you they're not important, but they are the least weighted question items. So based on that, you need to work smartly on these question items. Let's talk about this question first. Multiple choice single answer. There are only two or three questions that you can expect maximum. Not more than that. But the comprehension text will be quite elaborative. It can range anywhere between 150 to 200, sometimes beyond that. Now, this does not mean that you need to start or to sit there and read and reread and revise and then go to the question and come back. So I will share with you some strategies that you can utilize to practice on this multiple choice single answer. And this will definitely help you to get an answer at the quickest time as possible. And then you can move on. The first step for the multiple choice single answer is do not read the paragraph or do not read the text first. Keep your eyes on the question given to you. In MCQ, they look forward for either the writer's main opinion, right, the central theme of the topic, the writer's main point that he is discussing overall, or a generic summary that has been put up. Now, these are in the options provided to you. Majorly, you will always be provided with four options, and any one is correct. The first, after the first step that you do not read the passage, then officially the first step becomes read the question. Okay, 
read the entire statement along with the instructions really quick to understand what is expected from you. Once you know that you are looking forward to get this kind of an expectation, you then move on and read all the options one after the another. Now, during this time, you can read a little slow so that you understand what those phrases or those sentences are talking about. While you're doing so, use your mouse and highlight the words that you feel are important. All right. Once you read all the options, by the end of the fourth option, you would be in a comfortable zone of understanding what the passage is going to be all about. Basically, predicting what you are about to read. This is a good time because with the help of these things in your mind, you are actually reading for a purpose. And that is important. Now, when you go on to the reading part, start off with the two most important reading skills, skimming and scanning. While you're doing your skimming, read the first paragraph carefully from left to right. Do not stop any unknown words just keep moving if you want you can avoid the conjunctions prepositions and articles focus more on the keywords in those sentences majority of the time writers tend to present their ideas or their thoughts in the first paragraph which we all know is generally termed as an introduction however do not take that risk. If you are able to understand what that entire passage is talking about in that first paragraph, you're good enough. Go ahead and read the other paragraphs also and try to understand what exactly it is. Read the first two sentences of every paragraph. This is the position wherein the writer tries to place the main idea of the paragraph. Once you finish reading the paragraphs, you come down to the final one. You read it in the same way as you have read the introduction because majority of the time, the material that has been extracted contains the conclusion in the last paragraph. But remember, this is not a rule. Read the conclusion paragraph or the final paragraph once again from left to right. See if there is some noticeable words that you can look for and then accordingly think about what you have just read now after you read those things try to match up and use the process of elimination one tip i would like to share with you over here is out of the four options provided to you the two options are always abstract okay that means these two options, though, will contain some of the other words in them, but will not form the idea of the main theme of the passage. So eliminate those options. If you try to use a process of elimination, you are actually bringing down your choices. So you are left with only two options. Now, out of these two options, you have to select the one that talks about as a whole about the passage and not specific keyword match. This is what your channel is going to be now. Because out of these two sentences, you have one sentence which may contain keywords that match with a certain paragraph or match with certain paragraphs. And that might give you a tip that you have to select that one. Please do not go for matching words formula. Take the sentence that describes as a whole what that entire paragraph is talking about. Try to practice regularly on this. That will help you to understand what exactly it is. Remember, match, match multiple choice questions, single answer is not the easiest question items that can be scoring one point for correct response zero for incorrect response so try not to guess 
if you can possibly follow these steps as you progress, increase your timing, speed up. You will be able to utilize this strategy and get that one point smoothly. The second thing that I want to share today in my video is also about the time scale. A lot of participants do ask how much time should be spent on every question item and reading. As you are aware that you have 35 to 40 minutes time to complete all the five question items. So there would be around 15 to 18 or 20 questions individually for all these five items. You need to complete those in that period of time. But I will suggest you just try to keep maximum time for the important questions that carry maximum weightage, which are reading fill in the blanks and reading and writing fill in the blanks. For MCQs, try, if you can, complete the task in one or maximum one and a half minute. Remember, if you are not able to do that within this video, it will not be possible for you to complete that task in two or three minutes either. So in that case, just click on based on your assumption and your understanding. Predict something, click on and move to the next question. There is nothing much to lose in this question item. Okay, but if you are confident enough and you follow the steps with good practices, I am sure that you will be able to get that two or three points and that will add value to your scores of the reading module. I hope you people would have made notes, practice, utilize additional resources. I wish you all the best. Happy learning. I'll see you in my next video wherein I share with you some insights about other question items of the PT. Till then, take care. I'll see you. Bye-bye.